beautiful sunrise out here this morning. Right behind those trees. Really nice. We are back, regular viewers. And by we, I mean the regular assistant and myself. Um, to this week, we thought we would see if watching all of these videos from the regular guy and editing them all this time that I've been doing this, if I could actually make a plaster mold. And so we're going to use the regular assistant's special project that he was working on. This little guy and a paddle tail I made out of very dry clay. Okay, a paddle tail you made out of air dry clay. And what we're gonna do is we are going to make a two part top pour plaster mold, right? Yep, right. First. Okay, and so we're gonna start off by taking this little guy and doing what? We're gonna do it, we're gonna take it over to a polyurethanathon. Okay, and so with a polyurethanathon, what we mean is we're going to dip it in polyurethane um, for about two or three coats. I think three or four. Three or four coats. Okay, three or four coats. So. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Well, this started out with a bang, huh? Yeah. Or a crash. So, but not to worry. The regular guy is here to offer a little bit of assistance for us as I break it. Okay, so we are going to super glue this back on. Sorry there, regular assistant. That's okay. This thing is awful fragile, but I think it can make it work. Clearly. Do you want to spray it again? Please. All right, back to your regular scheduled program. Pretend I wasn't here. Apparently we couldn't manage for five minutes without the regular guy fixing what we just broke. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll never. Is have that like video. is that like just regular life for us? I I guess we'll probably never have one video without him. I, I guess that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, it is supposedly his show, so you know. So, yeah. All right. So as soon as the. <laughs> As soon as this dries, um, we're going to take this over and we're going to polyurethane it uh, for about three or four coats and then we'll be back. Right? Okay, and yes. hopefully I don't break it again. Yes, hopefully nobody breaks it. Let's try that. Ready? All right. All right so here's the polyurethane thon. Let's open this up. Easy does it. Easy does it with this so we don't break it again. So yeah. now it has dried. So we are ready to dip it in the polyurethanathon. Very carefully, so that we don't break it again. Put that in there. Do we need some more polyurethane? No, I can lean. I was easily able to okay. lean it over. There it is. Okay. Hello, regular viewers. We are back from the polyurethanathon. This just came out after four coats later. Four coats later. So we have this little um, drip because obviously it was hanging, um, but we're gonna leave that, right? Yeah. You wanna leave it there? Yeah, we're gonna keep that there. I don't wanna break it again. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there just in case because it, it is still a little fra fragile or as the regular guy likes to say, fragile. It's Italian. <laughs> um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and leave that there. Um, we are going to, we have our mold master, or we have, this is the mold master. We have the, what do mold we call box. this? Mold box. Um, we have the mold box and we are going to go ahead and slather it very well with Vaseline. Um, there was no cheaper brand at Wooly World. Yeah, the regular guy couldn't find the cheaper brand so we're gonna use the real stuff here. Um, obviously it doesn't have to be name brand. Um, and we have our little divider here cause we're gonna smather this on here. Now I'm starting to use all his words, right? Yeah, now you are now you sound like him. Oh, okay. And then we're going to set this in here just like this. And, well, down, obviously. Yeah, down a bit more, yeah. We're going to do half of it, put this in, and then um, do, our, do our mold. So yep. here we go. So let's start slathering. Oh, oh it's that's brand that's new. I'm going to do the whole thing, right? Yeah, the whole, the whole thing, yep. Make sure you get it well in those corners. As you can see, they look like they did. They, it looks like they're sp like you can see the split in them. Did you turn this around? No, no, I didn't. You just pushed it. Yeah, I just pushed it. Oh no, that's the wrong side. 
I said wrong side. That's what I thought. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. Give, the, the give those, that? yeah, give those corners an extra coating. A bit. You can see that it covers them up so then they don't leak. Especially really well on that divider. Okay, so we initially had it, which um, some of you might have noticed. I think uh, my regular assistant here switched it around on me because he thought we were using this side. And I was like, I don't know how that one's going to work. That seems like it's not square, which it's not, obviously, if you use that side. I had to switch that around mid-slathering. Mid-slathering, yep. And now we're going to go ahead and... Use our favorite product, the star of the show. You know him, you love him. Dap Plaster of Paris. Good round of applause. Okay. This time. So, yes. May I give you a suggestion or three? Um, you can give me as many as you want. So I would use half a cup of water. Half fill this halfway with the water. Okay, so we're getting the real measurements now, right? A half a cup of water. I said that earlier. Well, that's what I did. All right. Is that right? Yep. Perfect. And Perfect. now add three of those. Oh, we did too. In a ventilated area. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I told you that, and now you're blowing it right out my face. <laughs> Is this the consistency? Um, try not to stir as hard. You're still you're plastering the entire desk. <laughs> I'll clean it up. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a bit more than that. Just a bit. No, that's what the consistency was that the regular guy told me, and that's where he told me to put it. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, since we have the regular guy here in the shop, All right. maybe he could tell me if this is how you want it to be in order to make this successful. I think that looks good. Okay, so now I can put it in there? Yeah. And uh, remember, we can use the uh, massage gun, of course, to get the bubbles out if you want. Well, I got plaster all over it, and I'd rather and, not uh, put plaster on this. We could use a, uh, a hand sander, palm sander, if you wanted, Okay. to put on there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try this, and of hold course on. we have our. Uh, uh, hopefully, I can hold on to it. Okay, Thank so. Thank you for flying Sander Airlines. We hope you okay, had a fun Okay, so then we're gonna use us. this little brush. <laughs> try to brush guys. all the bubbles out, right? Uh, yep. And there's tons of them. All okay, right. here you go. All right. All right, and then we're gonna put this in. Okay, so we're ready to do this. Here, let me help. And you I out. didn't need to slather this, right? No, nope, that should be good. Okay, I'm just making sure. Go yeah. All right. There so we go. we'll let this dry and set up, and then we will uh, pour come the back and coat. pour the second half. Yeah. Okay. We are back. It has dried, as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and take the locators out. Go very carefully. Okay. There you go. That's one. Thank you. And then, uh, careful. Yeah. Number two. Okay. Oh, hey, that came out a lot easier. Oops. Oops. Uh oh, I dropped it. Yeah, it may have been gone into There we oh, go. He found it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll it's not it. gone into it. So we're going to put some more petroleum jelly all over it um get a good coat to make sure that our other half does not stick and um yeah so we're gonna tell the regular guy since he's gonna do my job this week um to use some, some music right yeah can you ask him politely uh, dad please give some music All right, we have put a generous coat of petroleum jelly all over that. So now we're gonna mix up the plaster, the other half. So according to the regular guy, he said to do use half a cup, whatever that is. This is not a half a cup uh, measuring cup, but a half of this particular glass. Don't bring that in, that's one.
Okay, here Let's goes see. nothing. too much. Oh no, that's perfect. Okay, why don't you um I am not going to take the sander to try and get bubbles out this time. Um I may pause this and have uh my regular assistant go up and get the massage gun do that since I cleaned this off but that sander was a bit too strong if you could take the paintbrush here and try and smooth it Be very, very gentle careful. yeah very gently there are a lot of bubbles in there. And that means there are a lot of pockets of air. That would be what bubbles are. I don't know. Is this going to work? Oh, be careful. careful okay, there, don't kiddo. go too deep in there. Yeah. I did, not, that. Uh... I did that wrong. I should set up pretty quickly. Hopefully it doesn't set up quickly. Well, hopefully it sets up at the right rate, right? Yeah, the right rate. Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm no plaster mold expert. I'm just... Or we could say plaster mold. I'm just a regular... Wife. I'm just the Mrs. Regular Guy. And um, I know what I know about plaster molds from him. So we're going to clean this up and we're going to let this dry and clean this up. Yeah. And then be back. So we are back with a... Oh, that still feels kind of wet, actually. No, 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 it's set up. Is that it's how it usually up. is? Yep. You're sure? Positive We're not going to mess this up. up? Yes. Hopefully we don't. Yeah, I know. I know. How, how <laughs> sure are you? I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's set up. I saw it. It still feels wet. Yeah, but it's set up. Probably because okay. we have let the fans go in here. Do we have to do it this way, or can we just take this off? No, no, no. We have we to. Have to? Yeah, we okay. have to? Okay, so we let take me, these screws out? Yeah, I got it. Here, let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. Let's you do it. sure you know yeah, what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, don't, don't mess okay. with my hand. this off there you go okay gently take it did out did we make oh dear okay hold on. yeah i think we got, got it that side yep oh Ooh. yay did we, we did do it, it? okay let's, okay, we, let's we, see I can this see will the lure. be there i see the lure yeah yeah okay so that would be it. the top pour part take it apart we I did it we did it we have some air bubbles that's but not a problem i think though. we did it let me get our friend all. Ready? Say hi, all. Carefully take your thing out of there. Oh, oh, no. oh dear! Oh, Don't right mess up the. This yeah. Side. There we go. That was better. Okay. Oh, that tail's very fragile. It is very fragile. We might not have. We have to be very careful. We might not have a tail. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. We did it, and and I got it out in one piece. We still have it in one piece. Yeah. So there's very our good. mold. Ooh, uh, so what do we think here? Okay, what How'd I think we do? We, I think we did great. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry in um the petroleum jelly still on it. Yeah, but we're gonna go set it out in the sun and let it dry some more and harden really here, well. Alright. Oops, that one's gone into oblivion. Oh well. But, you didn't uh, get that off. Our mold is back. 
packet uh, came out from God's dryer. Our mold has dried. That's correct. Yep. Right. And now it's Time the moment of truth. To see. Or close to it. If we made it. So uh, right now we got some Plastisol heating up in the microwave. The regular microwave, I should mm -hmm. say. And uh, we're going to grab a little clamp something like this and we're gonna we're gonna clamp it together hold on so I thought we had to do a little bit of um of uh Cleaning. reworking or whatever you want to call that what he does with his little tools yeah. filing it down or whatever but according to the regular guy I don't need to do that so, so uh, first so what's the first to, step we're gonna put some wool release on it which is some petroleum jelly okay we found the one that was, you know, <laughs> empty. We still have some left. This will still work. Yeah, so, uh, okay. I'm going to have to get, get that, that all off the edges right there. Okay. So, uh, the thing with if you're doing a plaster mold with the paddle tail is that you got to, like, get all in those grooves. Okay. So, uh, It'll be interesting to see if that comes out. We're going to have to, well, anyway. Get all the nooks think, and grannies. I think we got ourselves a generous amount. Uh, make sure you don't fill that up with petroleum jelly, then it won't pour. Yeah. But we also want it to come out, so I hope it does. Yeah, but don't yeah. fill it up like it's covered with petroleum jelly. Like, oh, like it's okay. All don't put it on your shirt either. That's probably not a good tip. Okay, do not do that. Oh, oh uh, 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 you got to clean off the brush. Okay, clean it off. I don't know if this is... Excuse me. Watch out. This is hot plastic stall. Oh, so I was doing it wrong. Huh? I do not know if y'all remember, but my dad did get burned with this stuff because he didn't have any gloves on, so... It's not at all on the camera, so they can't see it. Put it for the camera. Is it hot? It's uh, just not the handle part. But still, you need to be careful. So what color are we going to do here? Well... What the what my dad does or the regular guy does, uh, he starts out with a junky color, something that's not really fancy. Okay. Because you don't know if it's gonna work. So why why pretty it all up and then find out it's gonna work? That just spoils it all. Okay. So we start no, out. We don't want to be wasteful. That's true. Yeah, we start out with a junk color, and then we pour a few, put them on a few different configurations at the swim test, and then we test them out. And if they yeah. work, we'll make some more and pretty them up. Okay, so then we can make some pretty colors? Mm-hmm. What color do you think you want to make? I don't know. We'll have to find out if the time comes. Whenever the time comes. Anyway. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is weak. That is very full, so don't spill that out. I think everywhere. it needs to be heated yeah. more. Yeah, it needs to be heated for a bit That's longer. That's not a good consistency. Here, okay, I think our plaster, not our plaster, our... Plastisol is ready. Okay, be very careful. We're gonna pour it in like right there. Don't burn me. Okay, 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 okay careful, careful, you're making a big mess. Geez. I did not see that. Okay, why don't you let me finish it? Okay, you finish it up. Okay. Oh, we're making a big mess. This is not as easy as it looks, people. At least not for this one. For that one it is. So, why don't you have gloves? All right, here's our mold. Okay, let's see what happens. Ready? Hold on. Open it up. Hold on. Take it out. Okay. Got Moment of truth. <gasps> we made it. What'd you do? No flashing whatsoever. Wow. I think that looks good. So we can trim that up a little bit. Yeah, but then we'll test it out. Yeah, we're going to make a few more, though. How many configurations are going to do? I don't know. That's what the whole thing's fun about. That's what's fun about it. Okay. So we'll try to pour some more. Yeah, trim this up. Okay, so before we pour some more, because this is not a permanent mold release, we have to do some more petroleum jelly. And this is finally bit the dust. I got this for the regular guy for Christmas last year in his stocking, and um, yeah, I think it's finally gone. 
lasted a good long while. So we'll go ahead and open up the other one that we already opened. <laughs> okay. No, we didn't know the other one was still there. Okay, throw this in the trash. Okay. Oh, rookie mistake. And I guess my regular assistant has the regular hiccups. Yeah. Maybe she still has your breath. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. All right, so we'll try this again. Okay. Can I? I'm going to do this one, okay? Okay. Hopefully I can get it in there without Damn spilling it. so much. Well, you... Uh... You're off to a good start. You're supposed to be holding your breath there, regular assistant. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, uh-oh. That's okay. Hold on, hold on, buddy. You gotta get it on the camera here. Moment of truth, there it is. There it that is. That was easier to come out than I thought. A little more that we got to trim off of this one, but not too bad, right? Yep. The other one didn't have too much either, so um, since we did this twice, I don't think we need to show them every we don't need the little subject. detail. All right, regular viewers, you've reached the end of another video, of another regular video, so <laughs> that's, I guess, si oh, size of relief all over, well... Well, we started off with air dry clay, which brought us here. Dipped it in polyurethane, as you can see by this drip. Mm -hmm. And then we finally got to the fun part, making Plaster the mold. mold. And then the the second most fun part, which is even better than the first one, making the lure. And then we go from that to here. I find that very exciting. So, so this is the flashy swimmer version. We rigged these up. Uh, in a flashy swimmer and swim jig version. So we have a swim test for that, which is going to go on right here. See, you got him. Ah! See, you got him. Ah. Okay. All right, so this is our uh, lure. We made it a, well, we made a blue soft plastic on a swim jig configuration. So let's go see how this turns out. Tremendous amount of action, but that the tail wiggle a slight bit. It's wiggling a little bit. Yep, wiggled a slight bit. So there's that configuration. All right, so here's the other lure on a uh, flashy swimmer configuration. That's going. That's got a good action. Pass that out a bit further and we'll see how that goes. All right. It swims. The flasher is flashing. Okay, we hope that you enjoyed that. The as you can see, as you can see that he did get a hit and they were hungry for it. So yeah, he may were, not have actually caught a fish because but, he didn't get the hook set, right? But I would, yeah, but I would call this a success. They wanted it. They were hungry. So as you could see, this swim jig, I don't know if you all noticed, but it had a little bit of a wiggle on the tail, just not a tremendous amount, but it could cast pretty far. Now, I wish the this one could cast far, but it had really good action. So, a bit of a longer hook, a little bit more weight. We could probably get this to cast farther and have a lot of good action. So, the flash, it was flashing as I already said, but anyway, that, that was really good. So, we hope that you enjoyed this uh, special video this week. We hope that... It shows you that even amateurs, yes, even amateurs such as ourselves can create something from air dry clay, a little polyurethane, a little petroleum jelly, some plaster and water, and you can go fishing and catch fish. Yes. Right? So, so even though we learned everything from the regular guy from watching his videos, we did this and we're able to do it pretty successfully. I will say, if you follow the steps, 
you can create something rather simply for quick, dirty, and cheap, which is the regular guy way. So yeah. even though we are the regular editor and regular assistant, and this was irregular, I will say hopefully it encourages you all to try your hand at it. And when you do, we'll put the email down here. Yep, regularguylewis.gmail.com. You can email us your creations. We would love to see them. We'd love to um, add them to a video. Yep. Or yep. if you want to send us the fish you catch, we will absolutely include those in the next video. Yep. But until that next video, we'll catch you then, and you stay regular. Yep. Well, great job to the regular editor and my regular assistant for doing this video this week. The uh, regular assistant there did an excellent job making his own lure. He did that all by himself. And he and the regular editor put this video together all by themselves. And I just think they did a wonderful job. It was very fun to watch. And uh, I hope it's inspirational for you guys as well. Thank you for tuning in this week. Hey, what are you kids doing? <laughs>